Welcome everyone to today's video. If you followed all my previous videos, you also saw in the earlier Octane videos this personal video board that I prominently showed in the disassembly and such. And I never used it, we don't have a Linux driver and it was making the power supply fan spinning faster. So I took it out, but as we now have two Octanes and also installed IRIX, which I until this year never before installed, I thought I can also put it back have it in a safer storage than the spec where I may lose this special screws or one of the batch wires that I showed in the other video. And have a more IRIX focused octane and a more Linux focused octane and can also test and see what this card can do. I also heard that it can do video compression for screen capture and things like this. So let's put it back and hopefully it still does work. So this is my original less powerful impact board without texture modules and such. And I also showed in earlier videos that I had nothing here and the viewer was so nice to send me this blank XIO panel here. This was this panel and this board was on here like this. Obviously we need to be careful with this flat ribbon cables. So there was also one longer pin. Where did that go? Probably was it the other side? Oh this was actually was here with this fastening thing somehow I yeah, around this somehow here like this it was if you have not seen the earlier video you probably want to go back and listen all the botch wire in details this is really a fascinating board with all the botch wires then this flex ribbon cable stuff goes on here the whopping three of them. I think they were like so I hope it's really tight on. It's really difficult to get them on there. And um Always I secure it as a special bolt with tape. I always like to keep things together, not to lose them. And this protection thing was somehow like this. Yeah, and this was on here like this. That screw over the plastic cover here. And now it only still has to work. So uh, wish me luck. Trying to continue to figure out this personal video board stuff that I never tried to use. So it turns out there is hope. It is visible in this hinf in the prom. However, the drivers are not installed by default and they are on the last overlay disk, three of three, in some unbundled directory. So we have here this unbundled directory and of course it has conflict so it also needs additionally this dist as usual and now I need to figure out how to get rid of all the conflicts as usual. Okay at the end of the day another try we're getting somewhere. 
It's actually really installing something now after fighting with all this plenty of dependencies. So it's really installing here some impact video stuff here. And actually I thought I left this Netscape open. Okay, internet, open web browser. We have two processors. We can open a web browser while we install software. And the only problem is, does it have an history or actually it does? No, okay, this was the wrong one. So you can actually still serve some parts of the internet with this vintage browser from 20 years ago. That is of course pretty neat. So on advice by email and Reddit, I grabbed here EFO and this EFO personal Octane personal video stuff is not enough. On my first try yesterday I only grabbed this, that, that wasn't enough. On further advice on Reddit I also grabbed here the Octane IV, which is Impact Video, Octane Digital Video and also Impact Compression, Octane Compression, not sure if this is really necessary but I did not want to try it twice. So I rather grab both of them immediately. However, of course, they have dependencies and conflicts. I then loaded additionally here this overlays. The next problem was that when I currently insert the overlay one that I also have here somewhere. Currently, since some days, when I insert this overlay one of three, the software manager crashes with, I guess, some segmentation for at least a core dump. Thanks God I did not need this because then Installation and removal is very successful, yay. Thanks God the conflict this time resolved with just overlays 2 and 3 of 3. This is really a pain, I can tell you. And I'll continue, we will see. So we have installed here some impact video stuff. I guess when we quit this now, it will be re quick starting elf files. Yeah. And you see, I'm getting used to RX. So actually, with hinf m. It is printing out also the, they call it barcode, which is also the product numbers and revisions. So my personal video board is right now really listed here. So I really have hopes that it still works. It's of course really a pain that the normal hardware inventory is not showing this here. And this is of course a pity that I three times took this personal video board out and in the end broke one small plastic pin even from this fragile flex cable connectors only because this default hard inventory doesn't show it, so you need M for this E4 board. Let's hope it really works and um, it's still very quick starting. So the hardware inventory thing is not showing it yet, right? And I think it should be here around the graphic board. So maybe we need to reboot and also I was advised to check config video day on or something. I've done this already yesterday. Let's see what happens after installing this additional stuff and uh, rebooting after the re quick starting finished. So one reboot later and it is indeed showing up in this hardware inventory. So we now here have personal video unit one revision 1.0. So let's try to start something probably need the video source. So, oh, so indeed this now video panel, this is the first time I see this. So this installation really is successful and was what is needed for this to work because this video panel was here before. I find this also slightly strange that we have here this video panel and such applications, but not the personal video board drivers, but whatever. So now this works here, devices, inputs, camera, live, video input hmm. memory to screen transfer file. as I said I never used this I never saw this so I have no idea if this works this did not work the question is so okay so video out is maybe doing whatever I don't know video out who can I program exit at the status one hmm. Oops. Ah, can move it so. Um, send full screen. Well, it's doing something. The problem is I have... Wait a second. I think I have at least this other display may have a 
composite input. Not sure about as video because I'm mostly a fan of digital video inputs and such. I have some more cards though, so we can. The problem is on the Kuro Power VR. I desoldered the S video transmitter thing, so I have no idea if that still works. So let's try a couple of things, and um, maybe I have another S video capable card. So my vintage stick. Let's see what I can find.